السلام عليكم last tutorial we model the upper part of the vertical axis wind turbine helical type today we will model the lower part that includes the tower and the generator this is the lower part here is the generator and here is the remaining part of the tower. Then we will assemble both parts. The upper part that includes the plates and the shaft and the lower part that includes the generator and the tower. We can start modeling the lower part from shape, generative shape design part 1 y z use the profile start from here and go down Ten millimeters, twenty millimeters here. And the lower is twenty millimeters. Now the total length is one thousand millimeters. Sketch the workbench and revolve to this axis 360. That means one complete circles. Hide this, then go to mechanical design part design six surface first offset is one millimeter and second offset is one millimeter also click on the object and ok reframe on choose this plane and go to sketch again maximize the size bring it close To draw the flange, go to profile, the dimensions, here is 5 millimeters, here is 20. Bring it close, coincidence, now exit the workbench and go to revolve or shaft during this axis, reframe it on again and choose the same plane to draw the generator. Zoom in. Profile. Draw rough shape. After that, we can resize it again.
fine. This is five millimeters. This is twenty. Ten. Fifteen. Twenty five and twenty five create fill it here to cut the sharp edge. Bring the two flanges close. Point one as the tolerance or space in them to be filled with dust. Now we can exit the workbench, go to shaft to revolve this shape. Fine. Now we can zoom in. To make holes to locate the poles, five millimeters. And fifteen millimeters from the center. Exit bucket. Let it eleven millimeter. Now we can create eight holes copy from this hole by means of circular pattern, complete crown, eight through Z axis. Fine. Now go back to this surface. Create the hexagon, the head of port, six millimeter, and fifteen millimeter from the center. Exit again from workbench and construct it into two millimeter as the bolt head. Now go again to circular pattern definition and complete crown eight pieces through Z axis. Now we can complete the board by choosing this surface, going to the sketch with the same procedure, draw the hexagon of 6 mm and 15 from, from the center. Exit workbench, but command also two millimeters. Review OK. Then again, we can create eight pieces with complete crown. Also, rotate it through the eight axis. Fine. Now, this is the tower with the total links, including the generator. We can make 
all here to locate the shaft of the blades that shaft was 20 millimeter diameter exit again and pocket 20 millimeter fine now we can save this part go to file save as tower and generate file close this page and go to the start mechanical design assembly design first of all go to product existing component tower because it is a major part this is a tower and generator then go to helical helical part open fix the major part it is a tower then go to manipulation and offset the blaze in the direction of y coincidence through this this axis of tower and the blade shaft fine after that we can offset it in z direction okay then offset constraints you can close this no need and click the surface What's the distance between them and the negative? That means we want to locate the shaft inside the hole of the generator. Update all. This is a complete shape of the designing the helical vertical wind turbine the last step we can animate go to start digital makeup dmu kinematics Assembly constraint conversion new mechanism okay auto create okay go to left side application mechanism mechanism one and degree of freedom one joint double click the revolute and click the angle driven the message here the mechanism can be simulated that means all is good okay go to simulation click mechanism one that we have made and rotate it 
through 360 to the left and 360 to the right. Animate, insert, semi close this and make the speed point zero two we can see now the rotation of the plates it is connected to the movable part of the generator now it is complete thank you for watching please subscribe for more video